created with honor. It all started with a group of far-sighted individuals dedicated to the idea of creating the very first college preparatory school with naval training. The academy was named in honor of Admiral David Glasgow Farragut, a flag officer of the United States Navy during the American Civil War. Farragut was the first naval officer to rise to the rank of Admiral in 1866. He's best remembered in popular culture for his order at the Battle of Mobile Bay. Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Well, we started in 1933 on the Toms River in Pine Beach, New Jersey. And uh, that campus ran independently for the first uh, close to 12 to 13 years. The former Pine Beach Inn proved the ideal location and became the first naval honor school in the nation. Those early days required dedication to the vision of building an academy like no other. Details like purchasing uniforms and boats, outfitting dorms, hiring exceptional staff, and recruiting students. The administration's goal was to not only offer students the ability to study and dine together, but also to support them with extracurricular activities like choral club, band, and sports. At the heart of it all, our founders kept the mission of turning out well-rounded, college-ready young men top of mind, building a sense of community, confidence, and teamwork among cadets. Building the Farragut Tradition. In the mid-1940s, they purchased this property. The site of the former Jungle Country Club Hotel on the shores of Boca Ciega Bay allowed perfect access to the Gulf. Captain Russell helped lead the way in creating this new campus, shaping it in large part to what it would become today. Both campuses ran as sister schools or brother schools, if you will, uh, for about 50 years together. In 1968, the academy began accepting day students, and later in 1990, Farragut reached another milestone, with women joining the ranks. Well, unfortunately, then in 1994, the northern campus had to close, and everything was consolidated on this campus in St. Petersburg. And we've been the sole Admiral Farragut then for, for the past 24 years. The Farragut legacy continues. I know that we talk about how Farragut's changed. I like to think it's not changing. We have evolved to keep up with the times. But our mission has remained the same, driven by a faculty and staff committed to helping students in their academic journeys, teaching core values, and how to lead. Now, we're proud to boast a record enrollment of more than 500 cadets. Daily life at Admiral Farragut still includes early morning reveille, formation, and parade marching. Our core values of character, integrity, self-discipline, perseverance, wellness, and fitness are all still here. Our goal is to prepare each student for 21st century challenges in a changing global society, cultivating strong leaders through innovative programs and experiential learning. Today, Admiral Farragut offers pre-kindergarten through 12th grade day school and 8th through 12th grade boarding school, 